Hello! We've learned in the previous videos that we can show the prison working directory like using the pwd. What if you wanted to change the directory? There's a command called cd, which stands for change directory as you see here. We know that we are in Kali here by using pwd because of this tail design. Tail design means the default folder for the current user, as you know. Okay, and if we wanted to change to, for example, Let's go for downloads. So I just type D capital O. It has to be exactly the same, exactly the same like this. D O W capital and smalls and everything. But there's a button on the keyboard called tab. Once I press on the tab button, it will auto complete it for me without doing any mistakes. And just I press enter. By the way, I didn't use this if I want here. I didn't use this slash sign because downloads is in Kali folder, so I type it directly. Okay, so again, CD then downloads. CD only will jump to the default folder for the current user, or CD and then tilde because tilde means the default folder for the current user. I just press enter, I jump back. Let's go to downloads again, or just go to pictures like here, go to Kali and pictures pic enter i wanted to try it with no tilde sign it's exactly the same works the same what if i wanted to go to videos here just cd then vi videos the only directory that has v or starts with v i can just type v and tap and videos and press enter because tap auto complete name of the folder or tool whatever complete automatically for us if i just specify the first uh, letters and those letters are only included for this uh, directory or tool if i wanted to go to the same directory to the same directory that we are in we are already in videos if i just wanted to specify pwd we are in videos in here cd dash i'm sorry cd and then dot this command is somehow gonna be useful in some cases it's worth to learn it so i press enter cd cd then double dot double dot means move up or go up one directory okay so cd double dot i moved up one directory now and the default folder okay pwd here as you may see i moved up cd then double dot again i'm in home here and if you notice here tail design is not included because tail design means the default folder for the current user it's not included in here because we already in home cal is here if i wanted to move up one directory again i'm in the root folder okay pwd i'm in the root folder now this is the root folder or root directory all right, so what if we wanted to jump directly to the default or the default folder for the current user like tilde here? We simply type cd only or just td with tilde. Again, we simply type cd then tilde or just cd. I jump directly to the default folder for the current user like Kali home, Kali here, and here I was just in root. Let's try it again, cd then go to for example documents so d o c u mm -hmm. okay c d and then tilde it works exactly the same i jump to the default folder for the current user this is going to be very useful for us it really faster we've learned cd double dot we've learned cd dash no, we didn't learn cd dash. Okay, let me tell you. cd dash, it goes to the last directory that we were in. So we were in documents. If I press on this, I'm back to documents again. And this one provides you the path to the one that you were in. Again, so cd, then I want to go to, to the default one. cd, then videos. If I wanted to go to the last directory that I were in, what do you think that would be? It's gonna be Kali because we are in here. The last directory that we were in in the last command before this one. Alright, so now we've learned dot to go to the same directory. Let me just recap a little bit quick to get to the same directory. CD dash to go to the last directory that we were in. And 
this one, the last directive we were in here. By using this, we went to the same again, CD and tilde to go to the default. And CD is the same to go to the default folder for the current user, which is Kali. CD double dot to go up one directory. I hope that I recap everything. That's everything now. And by the way, tap is to complete for us any command or any tool or any file or any folder just to auto complete for us. It's a very helpful button, by the way, you're gonna use it a lot.